What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we have an insane video, guys. How to make tokens, how to make MT. We're gonna go over sick methods in this video. Before we get to it, 100 likes on this video because we're gonna do an MT giveaway today on Twitter and Instagram. So make sure to follow those socials down below. And yeah, guys, we got some fire MT tips, some fire token tips all in this video. You guys should drop the sub if you're new. It'd be greatly appreciated. We're close to 12K. So here we go, man. Here are some methods. I actually just went over some methods. I was like, yo, these methods work. They do work. I just did it myself. So we're going to talk about MT and tokens right now because they're kind of put together. So we're going to talk about it. Let's start it off with this banger right here, bro. We just got Legacy Bill Walton. For 28,000 MT on my video, he ended up selling for 200,000 MT. I don't know who would ever put up Bill Walton for that cheat, but yo, that was the biggest W in a very long time. Okay, this card right here, none on the auction. So if you guys want to make some MT, I would probably suggest trying to snipe out this card. And now, why does he go for so much MT? Um, simply because his token count is 200. So what I did was I literally randomly searched on here one time. I got this card for 28,000 MT, put him up for 100,000 bid. He sold for 200,000 MT. And then if you guys didn't know, I somehow, bro, my screen was off. I was spamming A for some odd reason. I ended up purchasing damn John Morant, guys. That was a huge, huge L on my part. Accidentally purchased him. So then I was like, bro, how can I get tokens back pretty easily and pretty cheaply? So I went over these sets, man. These are the best sets to get your tokens up, okay? Cost cheap MT. This one right here, okay? Not only is this set pretty good to lock in, you could use Sean Marion, even though his jump shot is weird. He has A plus all around. He's honestly pretty low-key good. And Dame Dalla, he's not the best card, but yo, it's Dame Dalla, okay? And yes, I know my hair is out of whack. I need a haircut. I'm sorry. But yo, this set cost me. I got Dame for 50K. I got Sean Marion for 30K, 80K. I had Wiseman in a pack, Bill and Beer. This set cost around 100,000 MT. Um, this set is high-key pretty solid. This set, for 100k MT, you get 200 tokens. If your tokens aren't that high at this stage in the game, you should probably start playing some TTO, Domination. And also, if you didn't do the Curry challenges, oh, they got rid of it. Um, but you got like three times the tokens after Curry challenges. And here's another way to get tokens, man. This, uh, I think it's one of the Moments challenges. No, it's one of the Spotlight challenges for Kobe, guys. You could get like 80 or 100 tokens for this Kobe challenge. And we can find it right here, guys. 81 tokens plus eight tokens so and plus 24 tokens you're gonna get around 120 tokens for free off these light work easy 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 challenges so here it is man um you also get a diamond consumable from here these challenges bro are gonna make you lots of mt first off the diamond consumable pack guarantees you five to a hundred like eighty thousand mt so that's a w these all-star flash packs you can maybe get lucky plus a diamond shoe pack bro i didn't even do these myself because my token count is high but if you want there might throw out like a token reward thing on the the today in my team so yeah that's definitely a very good way to make tokens 110 percent a very good way to make tokens also guys pretty much if you do the curry challenges i think it's such a w guys these challenges took me 15 hours i did it in two days guys curry's goaded i mean he's one of the best point guards in the game he's splash zone he's curry he's insane so if you guys want man you get an insane amount of tokens from these you get goat curry you get a sick amount of mt you get five or six free opals i mean these challenges are a no-brainer so while you're grinding this what i did i would grind this hop off the game for a sec i would check out legacy filters i would check out buyout filters whatever and i would just simply hope for the best see what pops up and whatnot it's very good it's a very very good method sniping here and there after the curry challenges and you also do the Xbox glitch. If you don't know what that is, man, all you have to do is dunk the ball uh, right when the game starts off quick through STS. 
And then all you have to do is press the home button right when the highlight reel pops up. And then you just wait there and watch the time go down to one minute. So you pretty much play one minute of each quarter. But in the fourth quarter, it's two minutes. But still, you pretty much play five minutes of each game. So you could literally watch Netflix. I have literally a dual screen right here watching Netflix while you do those solos. They're light work. Very, very easy solos. And then on this one, guys, pretty much to get your tokens on the moment challenge, you have to score uh, 24 points of Kobe. You just got to run quick through STS, which is on the Nets playbook. Very easy to get tokens in this game, guys. Very, very easy, especially at this stage. You also could do this for a quick six tokens. Do I recommend it? I mean, they're kind of boring solos. There's only six, 20, uh, right here. Uh, what is this? Six, six of these, bro. 20 tokens here. 12 tokens here. 15 tokens here. 15, 15, 15, 15. There's a million solos you could do. You could do one solo in which it's five minute quarters get 15 tokens one solo 15 tokens one solo 15 tokens so anything about 30 minutes an hour two hours right here three hours uh all right so about okay so you're gonna get 75 tokens in about two hours and 50 two hours and a half maybe even two hours of gameplay okay very easy very very easy so you also got this one there's a million ways to get tokens guys not only that Here's another tip I want to tell you guys on how to make MT because token market update is 110% coming out this week. The community has been going crazy. We need a token market update. Here's what's going to go down. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do to make MT, I'm probably going to buy off a couple clays. I'm most likely going to stick to like whatever the 200 sets are. So we got this one. We got this one. 200 tokens. We got this one. We got this one's not one. Flash. Five. Yao Ming, if you could get him for a buyout, I would hold on to him, guys. Because we're going to get a sick token market update. This one's also 200 tokens, bro. This one costed me around 60, 70K. I mean, this one's a no-brainer, guys. Lonzo Ball's around 40K. Red's around 6K. He's around 10K. These cards are around 4K, 5K. I mean, these sets are easy to do. Easily get your tokens back up. As you guys do know, I just got 150,000 for free for accidentally purchasing John Moran because he was my third Opal in the rewards guys i wish i accidentally purchased dmar de rosen guys that was it's kind of tough he's very usable man i wanted him but i was waiting and then i accidentally purchased john moran which is a huge l but here's what i'm saying if you want to get the tokens for these flash packs fine if you have the mt to do it go ahead it's a very good idea this set was cheap about 100k so for 140k guys you're gonna get around 200 tokens by 400 tokens which is a no-brainer. You could also do these, which is about 30 a piece. If you're going to do one, guys, you're going to do this one. This one's the cheapest one by far. This one's sort of cheap, too. If you get Yao Ming for a buyout, you can get this for like 140-ish K if you get Yao Ming for a buyout. Um, there's that one. This is Flash. Fan favorites, too, which is pretty good because Taco Fall and Bobo are still usable. Caruso is decent. But, uh, yeah, these sets, man... If you want, I would pick up a couple of these. This one's for 100 tokens. This one's dirt, dirt cheap. So honestly, I'm about to knock this one out. This one's stupid cheap. That, look at this though. Diamond Danny Granger at 29,000 MT. This car was 5K. People know token market's coming. So what are they doing? They're buying out low-key rare diamonds and they're making the price higher. That's what you should do with a lot of things. That is literally a sick method if you ask me. There's going to be sick ways to make MT. Also, bro, 75 tokens for this set. This set is worth like 40K. So it's completely up to you how you want to do this for tokens. In my opinion, it's a very, 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 very good time to probably start getting your tokens up. Start getting your MT up because if we get a token market, this Bill Walton's going to go up in price. These Bernard Kings are going to go up in price. It's going to, a lot's going to happen, man. Token market pretty much just makes your pockets bigger, in which I'm going to invest in probably a couple Lonzo Balls because, in my opinion, this set is way, way too cheap. And honestly, Lonzo Ball was 100,000 MT for almost a whole year until this market crash happened about two weeks ago. Because I was looking at his price about two weeks ago, and he was still pretty expensive because of the Lamella Ball and whatnot. But yo, if I were you, try to pick up some Lonzo Balls. I'll pick him up for around 40,000 MT. Very, very, very fair price for the man. So get him for 40K. Invest in a couple if you have the MT. And yeah, his price should go up. Other than that, man, that's all I got for the video. Get your tokens up. Get your MT up in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.